Welcome to Pack Valham. It is day three of this week's Scott vs. Rengsk challenges. They don't do it. I said this week because the Scott and Rengsk don't do it this often. I think this is the second time they've done this. A week of challenges between them. This challenge. We have three rules. There's first. There's. Every word must, each guess must start and end with the same letter. So whatever letter I guess there, also same letter there. And uh, whatever letter guessed there must be the same letter there, unless I'm going for the answer. Um, also, all the letters, all five letters must be different. So whatever letter I choose here and there must be different from the letter I put there and there, and both of these must be different from the letter I put there and there, etc. Also, also, this letter and this one, the first guess and the third one and the fifth one must be a vowel. So, I mean, they didn't specify that the second and fourth must be consonants, but it's easier to do it with a consonant, that's why they didn't do all five vowels. So I need to think of a word that starts and ends with the same vowel. In fact, I need to think of three different words that start and end with, this, with this, each one with the same vowel, but three, four, three different vowels, and that'll be first, um, yeah, first, um, I thought of eerie, and also M C. Uh, aorta. I'm one with aorta. Just yellow R. And now I can. Okay, maybe I think it'd be a good idea to start and end with the R. Rotor, but I don't want to do rotor because the O and the T are gray, so I don't want to do that. Except I don't want to do the A because that, that's gray. I don't want the, I don't want to use the A specs. Okay. Nothing in specs. There's no E. So I do not want to do I've already checked three vowels, A, O, and E. They're all gray. I need to do a vowel next. I uh, I, I'm having a hard time thinking of where it starts and ends with I, where it starts and ends with U, as five letters. I want to try something to maybe jog my brain or something. Alright, so I have all letters here in this variable, and then this function a just returns a random letter, so math.random times 26, so to get a random fraction between, oh, I need to four of that. Random decimal from 
zero inclusive. After just below 26, so 26 exclusive. So, zero to 25.99. Math that floor gets rid of the decimal and digits to the right of it. So it's a random integer from zero to 25, and then we'll get a random letter. And then for zero, or i equals zero, that's 100, i plus plus, so 100 times it'll print out i, three random letters, i. Let's see what that looks like. Do any of these look like real words? Look similar to i boy i. Mm. Uh, I guess we'll try you. Do any of these look like real words? You Whoa! Ufurfu! I don't know if it's cheating to look at the possible word list. You know, the list of possible guesses I can make. And filtering by ones that start and end with I, or ones that start and end with you. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll try O. I know O's gray, and I'll have to use at least two O's. I don't know if it's real. No, okay. I thought of eerie, but I I don't want three E's knowing it's green or not uh, gray. E's gray, so I don't want to do three E's, and I don't want R in the same place. It's yellow. It's M C, which doesn't check R, and I know C. I don't know. I need something, so I'm just doing M C. I know that O is gray, but I have a hard time thinking of words, so I'm just doing what O. I'm going to check for D and I. W, two spots for W, but I don't know that there is a W. Oh! There is a W. Could, it can't be right, no T, no E. R R um, what could the answer... No, no T. Actually, I don't know that, so worry. Oh, Rise has an E at the end. I've used this strategy for... Uh, like Wordle or other Wordle games or something before. All the possibilities that the first letter could be, and then all the possibilities with the second letter, etc. 
we know with the green W we know this one has to be W this one is the letters we have not checked yet and also the yellow that's not the I so R etc so, so yellow R is third so it does not include that here and then I don't know if this is cheating or not I could have used strategy. It's not going to be Q or X or N or B. I mean, if it is a consonant after the W, I think it would be R. I forgot to include the condition to check for for only the to only log the answer that or the combination permutations or whatever that include both of the yellows so if any of these letters is an I and any of these letters is an R because we have the two yellows so one of them has to be I one of them has to be R so let's see all right now there's fewer Oh, could be W H. I can't be wild. We need an R. All right, this is it. I'm giving this a whirl. This answer a whirl. Now, did I win the challenge, or is writing code cheating? Uh, Scott, Rinks, what do you think? Is it cheating? If you're smart, click the like button, check out uh, Scott's channels and Rinks. And, uh, if smart, click the like button. If you're genius, click the subscribe button. You'll see me next time. Stay tuned tomorrow for tomorrow's challenge.